For this video, we're going to look at the selection tools. Both clay selection and mesh select area have gotten some enhancements in this release. We will look at clay first because there are enhancements that are similar in both tools. And then we will look at the mesh selection tool, which has some unique enhancements. The first thing that you will notice is we have a new tool option. So largest component selection. This will select the largest connected piece of clay in your active piece. You can see that this was a scan, that there was still a little bit of disconnected geometry. And having this one tool saves you from having to use seed select, find touch the largest area that you believe, and then of course, invert your selection and delete to remove disconnected pieces. You can also cut, paste as new, or do whatever you like with that data, but this will speed up the workflow for scan cleaning, as well as separating objects or any other thing that allows you to remove areas that are not the biggest component. The next thing that has been added is we've added a 2D selection mode. This is for box select, polygon select, lasso select. So these tools here, without the new mode turned on, you would pull your haptic stylus closer to you, draw your region, and then push forward to make a depth selection. And that allows you to create a selection that is limited in depth. So for instance, if I turn on my side view, rotate like so, I can make a selection and you can see that you have a lot of power with how you make your selection. Many users are accustomed to selecting all the way through, and this is common in other applications. So with this new 2D selection mode turned on, you remove the depth selection. So you would draw your marquee release and it selects through the piece. The same with the polygon. So if I change my view, click several times, close my selection, and it selects all the way through my object. These are both available in the mesh and clay selection tools. So I'm going to switch over to a different workspace to show some of the new features for mesh. And we will start by taking this base, copy this to mesh, and I will hide everything else. So this is an interesting piece of geometry, which allows us to make some very unique selections. So you can see that we have the 2D mode, we have the select largest mode, but now we have reorganized the mesh select area tool. So it is similar to select clay. There is a toolbox where the cut and paste as well as uh, convert are located and parameters for some of the other new tools that we have down here. So if I make a selection here on the surface, just make a small region, we've added a select by crease angle, which there is an option here to control the crease angle. Once you have a small seed selection, you click and it will propagate and select everything that is met by that um, option. So I can clear this. We also have the ability to grow and shrink our selection now. And as you can see, clicking from the toolbox, this is interactive. The same with the uh, crease angle. So if I lower this down to two and expand my selection by crease. That's not a very useful selection, but I can increase my angle 
And for every time I make a change here, we get a live update. The 2D mode is available for mesh, and we have added an expand planar selection option to the existing expand planar selection tool. This will allow for a little bit of tolerance for not perfectly planar um, geometry that you're trying to select by growing the area that it's selecting. And we have also added the defeature tool to the mesh uh, palette, so you no longer have to go up to the um, tool menu. So all of this has been added, and this should speed up scan cleaning workflows, mesh uh, workflows, and make Freeform a lot more capable for working with different types of geometry and making finer selections.